Hello, my name is Young Kwok and I'm a primary care internist and a recreational runner at the University of Michigan. And this is Anthony Pariano, who's a uh, marathon runner and also coach of the Huron High School cross country team. And we are here today to talk to you about knee pain. Specifically, we want to talk to you about knee pain on the side of the knee or lateral knee pain on the outside of the knee. Now, the first thing to figure out when you're dealing with lateral knee pain is whether it's above or below the joint line. The knee is a hinge joint where the thigh bo bone meets the leg bone and the joint line is where the two bones actually meet. So, let me demonstrate that on uh, Coach Pariano. So, the, the way you can tell where the joint line is, is here is the kneecap and right near the bottom of the kneecap is where the bones meet if you're in this seated position and that's where the joint line is. Now if you're having pain above the joint line on the outside of the knee by far the most common cause of that is going to be iliotibial band friction syndrome which I'm sure many runners have heard of. The iliotibial band is a thick fibrous band that runs from the hip or ilium all the way down the side down to the leg bone or tibia, hence it's called the iliotibial band, and as it goes over this region here, it tends to rub on the thigh bone, the bottom part of the thigh bone called the femur, and cause friction and cause pain in this particular spot. If a runner develops this during a run, the best thing to do is stretches for the iliotibial band so that it's not as tight and it does not cause as much rubbing. But today we are going to focus on cause of joint pain below the knee joint, especially in this particular spot here. This is one area that really hasn't been commented on much, but I do believe is a common cause of knee pain in runners. This particular spot is significant because this is where the big muscle in the leg called the tibialis anterior muscle attaches and this muscle is responsible for flexing the ankle upward and you can see the muscle contracting as the ankle is flexed upward. This is very similar in structure and function to the muscle in the forearm here which can cause tennis elbow if the forearm is overused. During the typical course of a run this muscle contracts thousands of times and can develop tendonitis below the knee joint or in this spot. Now, if you are a runner and you have developed pain in this spot below the knee joint, uh, I have adapted a very successful exercise that was adapted for tennis elbow to treat tendonitis in this particular spot. And Coach Parana will kindly demonstrate that exercise. It involves three simple steps. Uh, any elastic band is useful for this exercise. First, cross your injured leg over, as Coach Pariano is doing, and place the elastic band over the ball of the foot, that's step one. And then under tension, straighten the leg with the ankle bent backwards, that's step two. And finally, step three is push down on the gas pedal. And then repeat those three steps 15 times, three times a day. And I have found that this was very effective in getting rid of this particular tendonitis or pain below the knee joint.